question number two. Start, bench, cut, trade. Trade. I thought he said trade at first. I was like, so I was you, like you, just, you just listed a lot of niggas to start, bench, or cut, but start, bench, cut, trade. Kobe, T Mac, Vince, D Wade. What does trade mean? I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna start I don't Kobe. I like that option. Bench D Wade. Um, mm. Mm. Was it, was it, Wait, what is it? Kobe, T Mac, Vince, D Wade. And what was the Start, option? cut, bench, trade. Yeah, start, start, bench, cut, trade. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna trade. <coughs> What does that even mean, though? I'm a trade. I'm a trade. Trade? Damn, Mac, I got trade. That's like the same. Man, he's on your team. You got to get rid of him. Yeah, I got a trade. But, right. That's like but, cut. But that's the like problem a, with the cut or like, trade is I'm just gonna package like both of them up. Another team instead yeah. of cutting no. you to the. Yeah, I'm gonna package no, both of them up. Trade. You get something back. You get something back. You, something back. you just cut. Trade. You get something. Yeah, but why would you cut when you could just trade them? But we. I'm packaging both of y'all. That's a dumb. That's a dumb. I'm gonna. Don't add. I'm just gonna go with the careers. Don't add that to the start bench. So one got hurt. So I'm gonna just start Kobe, bench D Wade. Uh, trade Team Mac and cut Vince. Mm -mm. Hell no. I'm starting Kobe, benching T Mac, trading. Who's the other two? A Vince Wade. Wade. Trading um, Vince and cutting D Wade. Mm. I've never been a D Wade fan. Just mm. putting that out. There. What is everybody? I don't know. I, just, I don't know. No, I just haven't I mean, been. I, he's just not someone I've. Watch them and like, hi, look. With those four, uh, I'm keeping Gobe. I'm benching Vince. I'm cutting D Wade. And I'm trading. I'm trading for T Mac. T Mac got good trade value. I can get something good for him. <laughs> I ain't getting rid of no Vince Carter when I got Vince coming off the bench with Kobe out there. We talk Kobe about Vince. like prime T Mac, correct? Yeah. And prime. Wait, wait, are we talking prime? Vin. Prime, prime oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm thinking about the credit. Got the back injury. I'm no, no. damn. How is you thinking about that? I'm just Why thinking about that. No, I'm you gotta get the totality of it all. No. Prime, prime, bro. This is the you best. didn't say he didn't say prime. <laughs> All these Why would you okay, go to the back up. injuries and shit, <laughs> nigga? What? Why would you include? <laughs> you looking at the worst version of all of them? Like, no, the best. No. Uh, the, the best of them. The best version of themselves. I'm assuming. Yeah. That's how I think about these questions. That's how I picked it. But my my answer is the same. Even though well, I love okay. D, I love D Wade to the point where it's like it's tough to cut him. But I got three taller, like more dimensional players. Pick from, so I gotta gotta send you one bon voyage, brother. Ta ta. Bon. <laughs> T Mac. Who did you cut? I cut T Mac. Mm -mm. Oh. Back injury. Okay. Reason, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is, you, you know. are petty. He is I'm petty. I'm like, I'm thinking about like I didn't. Like, 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 you didn't tell me like the peak of whatever okay, it was. Everybody. I don't want to do that now. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll cut Vince because he would be the laziest out of all of them. Oh. Damn. Oh. You, know what? you know what? I'm gonna go use a bear. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I'm, no. No, I'm just saying. Was, that's no, fair. You're, that's a fair. No, I'm that's just saying. Like, I'm, I mean, when I'm thinking about the game, like, I'm bringing him off the bench. He's lazy. Off the bench. Did he go? Come on. If we're he just didn't have a killer mentality. No, okay. He wasn't lazy. No. Okay. okay the killer mentality then. Okay. Right. So if he well, ugh. you gonna call that lazy? <laughs> He's if somebody would have told you Vince never averaged more than 27, 28, 29. What would you say? <sighs> if I told you he he stopped being with his talent, if he stopped being an all star by the age of twenty eight, twenty nine, I wouldn't believe you. You wouldn't. No. But does it mean oh, he's lazy? So when did he retire? Vince. Yeah. He's forty. Twenty. Twenty twenty. Right before COVID, 40. I was 20, there. Twenty. 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 The yeah. last game before they shut, they so, they stopped the game. But the the last stopped season the he averaged over twenty points was two thousand nine. So so twenty points two thousand nine. His last All Star was two thousand six. Uh, two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. How old was he? He was uh, somewhere in the range of thirty at that point. So so twenty nine. Right, and and so I'm like, uh, yeah. so you say you think he could have been better longer? Fuck yeah. Okay. But we just he was the windmilling. He was windmilling at forty three. But we not talking about. We just talking prime though. We talking prime. Vince was the best in the league. No, he was never the best <laughs> ever. He never played like that. He never. 
I used to sit there and do that like, yo, these... 2,000 vents? Toronto 2,000 vents? 2,001, he averaged uh, 28. Oof. Six and four. Six. How old was he? 24. 24. Now, now you see where my problem is. At 24, he's averaging 28. He's the best player in the league, bro. And then... 25, 26, he got traded. 27, 28. He got traded. Like tw 25 to 29 is when you're supposed to be but he, apex. But look, he got traded. It fucked up his whole psyche. Come on, man. That was a conversation I used to have with him. He was like, I really thought I was going to spend my career in Toronto. Yeah. And I it, mean, I and it fucked with my head because... And when, because of people are, people weren't as receptive to players' feelings like they man, are like, now. Oh, man. Toronto fucked him up. I'm going to be honest with you. If I got to take anybody's skills out of any player ever, I'm saying I want Vince's... Give me Vince. What it, all of stuff Vince has, give it to me. To add to what you already have? have add to, to add to my mentality, give me Vince. Right? I, I got all these people in history. Right? Michael Jordan... Right, I can't be Kobe. He's regular, right? <laughs> Michael Jordan. You're talking about Shaquille O'Neal. You're talking about, uh, but maybe LeBron, right? But I'm not off the rip. I'm saying I'll take Vince. Give me Vince. Vince not hands, lazy. arms, jumping ability. Like I'm Vince not lazy. Maybe lazy is the wrong Vince word. Not 43, lazy. Definitely 43. Wrong. Find a new adjective. 43 windmilling. Lazy is, is, is lazy a strong is a word, strong yo. Word That's a very word. strong word, bro. You gotta say lazy. It's a very bro. strong word, bro. It destroys reputation. Yeah, bro. Lazy. Hold on, hold on. Vince gonna fuck you up now, too. That's hold like on. somebody oh, saying that you're stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. no. It depends on who's saying you're stupid. No, they're just saying you're stupid because of <laughs> things that you've done. Depends on... It's like, oh, uh, Gilbert, only, he, he's like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Gilbert not stupid. stupid. Gilbert was a genius. I think lazy, he made a bad decision. uncoachable are three words that are it all so hard to It all depends. <laughs> it all depends. If we say six figures, right? I want a six-figure person, right? That goes from 100,000 to 999,000. You know what I mean? So there's levels of this. So if I'm saying he's lazy... It's compared to my work ethic. Mm -hmm. I don't know what his work ethic is. So to me... So how could you say he's lazy? To me. My, if you don't know what his work ethic is, you can't no, say no, no, it. I don't know what his work ethic is to you. It might be apex. To me, it's lazy compared to what I'm... But you said you don't to. know his work like, ethic. Like, if I have a Bugatti and you say, yeah, I got this Ferrari, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, nigga, that's slow. <laughs> and you can right? say, but it's and to and my can car. say that, though, because he <laughs> I mean, works, he's played it. And that's why when non-former players and coaches and GMs tag players as lazy and this and that, you've never done any of this. Yeah, he played until he's 43 but years old. Why do you... Yeah. Tag players like that. And, 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 I'm just saying. And, and, and my argument would be this. Here's my argument. He, everything he needed to be great, he didn't do. He used it to stay in the league longer. Explain. The three the three workouts a day, the, the, the film session, the, the summer, like not partying, the really focusing to be 28, you're 24 averaging 28, to, to take that leap like the Kobe's and the Michael Jordan's, right? You didn't do it. You became an NBA player, but you were just so gifted like a Shaquille O'Neal, you're just gifted in everybody, right? You can just go into the summer not working out, not touching the ball, then come into training camp and still average 24 and 25, which you... Booby, which booby miles. You're booby, fucking booby miles. When your career started to tween out, that's when you want to take it serious. Because so, you got to survive and so stay you're, in the league. Yeah, so you're, you're doing whatever it takes to hang on. Now you're changing your diet, you're going to sleep early, you're doing all this. So you're doing it when... You want to just play longer, and I didn't. So you're just questioning his work ethic more than it is just saying I, that I'm, he's lazy. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at history, right? And that's, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's players in the 60s and the 70s and 80s that looked at a guy and said, he should have been all world. And that was the guy for me, that I'm looking at the... Uh, <laughs> uh, he, you know when you watch movies, right, and there's this demigod and that Hancock. Yeah. He's my Hancock. Yep. Not the one who turned into the super, the, the, the drunk nigga on the bench. Hey, yo. With all the with superpower. All the superpower. <laughs> with, all the, with all the superpower. Just 
boom, boom. Yeah. He can do whatever <laughs> you know, he like, yeah. Oh, fuck. And that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, like my shit. first introduction, like, this is like when it's more than what everyone knows. Like, it's that pet peeve of mine. He is the pet peeve of yeah. me because my first introduction into the NBA was Vince Carter, pull it back, dunk. Right? I even went into the locker room to get the autograph if, but during what's the name. So it was the guy, like this is the guy, right? And then watching them day in and day out, and it's like, yo, do, 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 do what you did last time. Do what you did last time. Do, do, do what you did last time. I don't want time. to, man. Move yeah. around. Like, Where like, my fucking whiskey at? Like, like, watching the game, like I don't know if anybody ever heard me say it. I was like, I questioned was I an NBA player? Because of him. When he did the Jason Richardson, and you know, Jason Richardson to me is, he's like a demigod. Right. Right? He's still windmilling his head, still at the rim today. So when I watched a, a demigod get out demigod, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <It's> a lot. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm not good enough in the NBA. Like, I, that's when I went and got, I was depressed. Like, I'm not good enough. I, that, like, he was the reason. So to see how it ends is like... It's a disappointment. Fucking... Di yes. Okay. Now you made me retire and I wouldn't even know the court. I mentally retired because of... <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like watching the dude and he doing all these windmills and he get out windmill? Like, wait, hold on. <laughs> this is Meg too. This is the alpha of the jumping abilities. It's almost like being in layup line and you see that one nigga doing all that crazy shit and then the game start and he on the bench. Yeah. You're like, what the... I thought that was going to be the nigga that was going to kill us. It, 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 he ain't see a minute. Like, I just put, I, it, it might be just me. I put him so high. I put him so yeah. high. Like It ain't just you. He was my favorite was of the, all time. He was the And then NBA I seen Kobe Bryant. I was like, oh, that nigga got this, this shit right here. Now, uh, come here, motherfucker. And Vince never had it. He, like he was the NBA player that scared, he scared me. And, yo, where's the, where, they got the, there was no G League there. <laughs> <laughs> there was no G League then, but I was like, tell him, hey, man, what's all them players I played against in Summer League? Because this ain't the NBA I'm a part of. I want that Summer League shit, them motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, I was busting their ass. I was busting their ass. This is another NBA. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this is one I watch on TV. I don't want this one. I want the other one. Where's the other one at? Damn. I'm not ready for this level. Dude, they, 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 they moving too fast. That's the way the talent was, that, though. Him and, the, him and T Mac, them niggas, you be like. Like me and Jay, no, so me and Jay Rich, we looking like, what was that? You see what he just did to, to us? <laughs> to, <laughs> to us? To us? <laughs> then go down and goddamn Michael Finley, like, goddamn. <laughs> Michael Finley, like Michael Finley. Then we had uh, Catino Mobley, like, because it was me and Jason Rich. We living, I'm living through him in 40, 38, 40. 35, 40. And I'm like, yo, we, whew, we didn't even get the Tr Tracy McGrady and uh, Ray Allen or Kobe yet. None of them. Oh, man, I need to change positions. <sighs> Vince is the one who started that. Mm. So you, you can see how that really hurt. The fact I feel, that I feel you. It's triggering. Mm. Yeah, the fact that I can't say, hey, Vince is over Jordan. I can't even do that. But don't call him lazy, though, Gil. To my work ethic. Okay. Not but to yours. It might, be, it might be Apex. Right? If I've seen a Bugatti... If I seen a Bugatti and I'm like, this car just is not fat. I'm just, it's not, it's slow. I'm, is is I'm, it still a luxury vehicle? Sure. Okay. But it's slow All compared right. to what I've seen. If I've but seen. it may not just be as fast as your Bugatti, but still a luxury vehicle. Yeah, because even less. you saying it's slow is crazy because it's not slow. It's just you're fast. You're fast, bro. You got a super turbo charge in your shit. That's not normal. So you saying, I know you're saying it's slow compared to you and all that shit, but it's like, yo, what, what the a, fact that you're saying it out loud is like... If you made 25 out of 25, right, and then somebody shoots 20 out of 25, yeah, that motherfucker can't shoot. No, Gil. <laughs> no, it's just your way of thinking about that shit. It's like, nigga, what? 20 out of 25, he can't, can't shoot compared so, to just because you didn't miss? Yes. No, that's not how that works. But it's yeah. how, that's, that's how it works for you. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. That's, how, you know, <laughs> that's how his... Like, if Steph, if Steph, you ask Steph, they man... That's the thing about a P's. You gotta respect You gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. Yeah, like, how many, how many people you. would you say have the Bugatti work ethic? Like, what percent of NBA players? Today. Oh, I, I can't tell you today because I don't... When I you played know. then? Mm, 
Listen, when I went to the gym at 3 o'clock, and I'm there 3 till 7, Kobe was there every time I went to the gym. The second person what was... What gym are you going to? Like, uh... The, uh... Staples. Oh. Are you talking, talking about game? Game, game, game. About, I was all like, what game? What the fuck are you all at? Yeah. Were y'all all there at the same time? I'm, I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting to watch and <laughs> see who, I was like, yeah, see who's coming oh, so in. Like on game days. Mm -hmm. Seeing who's coming in. It was uh, Kobe was first out of all those years, and Ray Allen will be coming in second. And anybody else in that list that you saw consistently put in the work? Yeah, this year I'm gonna have to start going earlier. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. No, I, used to go, I used to go early all the time. I'm not gonna lie. So, like, I'm, I mean, that was my. Early, like, but early for them back, then, early for them back then was first bus. Veterans come second bus, right? That was the thing. no Ubers back then, right? Yeah, there was. You had to take a cab. Bus. So, yeah. So think about what I'm saying is, it's the best players came on the second bus. Yeah. Not the first bus. The rookies came rookies. on. Yeah. Early. So we had so to go like, to rookies. So like, you know, superstars, yeah. you those superstars wasn't out there early. Yeah. They'd be out there mostly when the fans come. Mm -hmm. And I learned that. After my second year, going into my third year, I learned, fuck the first bus. Mm -hmm. Get the get, get the taxi, go early. Mm. Be there before, do the work early. Still have your time close but, to the game. And then you can relax and all that shit. So, I mean... Were you having to call these taxis? Were you like, have to call yellow in a hotel? Yeah, in a hotel. That's wild. Yeah. I mean, I, I, like, that's how we move back in the It depending on, like we said, like your work ethic and how you're used to preparing for the game. It's like, if you know you're on the road and you want to go get them shots up and not be... In the you know in the mix with everybody else, the balls on the way and all that other shit. Let me get my work in while I'm by myself. Get there early. Like and I said, like telling like like if you ask LeBron, like what do you think about everybody's work ethic? He might be like, this motherfucker's lazy. Because you're talking about a guy who comes in the gym at twelve. <laughs> he comes in at one o'clock, right? That's unheard of. But wouldn't it seem like you know for yourself a Kobe or LeBron, if, if guys wanted to be in that same position as you guys? Okay, Gil's here at three or Kobe's here at three. LeBron's here at twelve. I'm gonna get my ass here at eleven thirty, and that's the or big, just stay here all day from the, shoot around. We here from shoot around, and that's the biggest argument. That's the biggest. That's the biggest mystery in the sense of um, you saw him doing it. Why didn't you of so? of of legacy? Right? You know, like when people say it was my whole thing with the training thing with Hakeem. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan was a player, right? Kobe was a player, right? Tim Duncan was a player. Why didn't what they were doing every single day entice this player to want to do what they did? Right? I'm watching the greatness right there. So unless you have, unless you want to be great, then you will be paying attention to what it looks like. But for the most part, when we're there in real time, we're not looking with those lenses. We're not looking from the lenses of, this is greatness, let me learn from it. We're looking at it from fans and teammates that we, I'm just here to like get them Competitor, along. competitor. Yeah, I'm just it's like, shit, I ain't, I ain't looking at him like it's, he's doing greatness. I'm looking at him like he's my teammate working out. Mm -hmm. I'm working out like he working out. It's not until we see the greatness until down the line, we like look back, we like, yeah. He was doing way more than me. I should have asked. He was doing way I mean, more I than me. Yeah. yeah. Questions. Yeah, we we competition. We just competition while we in it. We like, nigga, fuck Gilbert, man. He over there doing. I'm gonna do my thing over here. And nah, this nigga was doing some shit an hour before I was even in mm -hmm. here when I came in. I missed that whole shit. So it's it's just, it's just, it's just like I, I think like if I had to tell like players, whoever the best player is on the team, like. Pay attention to what makes them great, right? Don't just look at it as a teammate. That's the thing he does. Look at the mannerisms, how he's dealing, like walking, talking to all the guys with LeBron. Like you only have a few years to look at it, yeah, right? To understand what he's doing, how he carries himself, because there's a reason he's here for this long, right? Same thing with Curry, right? You the guards, you need to look at how he's preparing, how he's coming into the game, and. You know, I think sometimes we just look at the final product and not look at the journey of what that person did. Right. And, you know, like a boxer, like you should be, like if I'm going into boxing and I'm talking to Mayweather, I don't want to know what Mayweather's doing right now. Like that first I year. I want to know what you was doing when you that got first year, That first yeah. year, the first two years, what were you doing? What was your workout? Because m most likely it was harder then than it would be 
and your 50th and 49th yep. victory. Yep. Right? That first one that, 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 that when you're trying to establish yourself, what were you doing then? And not sometimes that guys need to look at. Like, don't look at the legacy now. Look at how it was being built. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, that's real. Well, 